Well, the effects of the Russia-Ukraine conflict are being felt, of course, across the entire world. But no one feels the devastation quite like the people who are directly impacted and who are watching their home country from afar. Fox 13's Mandy Rock sat down with a Russian refugee in Memphis who left the country as a young girl. Mandy, she told you she still has family there, friends who live in Ukraine right now. Yeah, and Oksana Silva told me her family is from the southern part of Russia, close to the Ukrainian border. Most of her friends and family now live in Ukraine and said many of them haven't been able to leave their homes. This is in Kyiv. So this is actually where they're bombing right now, currently. Photos and memories of much happier times. For Oksana Silva, who was born in Russia, the war in Ukraine hits home. It's just, it's a lot of hurt. It's a lot of um, just, um, there's anger there too, just because it's like we're fighting against our brothers and sisters. Silva and around 40 of her family members fled Russia in 1989 to escape religious persecution and seek new opportunities. She's now an American citizen, but has gone back to visit her home country in Ukraine, where a lot of her friends and family still live. It's been really tough, especially the fact that I grew up in a Russian church, in a Ukrainian Russian church, and so it was just a huge community. So a lot of pe like people's families are affected during this. Silva said she's been in contact with her family in Ukraine. They told her their hometowns and parts of their country are now unrecognizable. He, he texted, he's like, hey, we're fine right now. We're, we're not going out to work. The streets are kind of empty because they just don't know who's going to come through it. Though it's tough being so far away, Silva said now is the time for Americans to step up and show their support, whether it be through donating to charities benefiting war victims or through prayer. The thing is, is we're going to hang in there and all everyone is affected and we're all doing something about it, all the countries. And so they are not alone. And if you're interested in donating to war victims, Silva recommends checking in with your local churches to see if they're hosting any charities or sending any supplies overseas. Live in downtown Memphis, Mandy Rock, Fox 13 News.